Bernie Sanders was not the first progressive to be sabotaged by the Democratic Party. And we saw, you know, in the light of day with those leaked emails, we saw exactly how the Democratic Party had engineered that. Not only that, but they had also engineered the rise of Donald Trump as part of their strategy of lifting up the most uh, nutcake um, uh, uh, Republican candidates in order to make it easier for Hillary to get elected. And even that didn't work. And it didn't work because the party has unfortunately been thoroughly corrupted by big money. It is, you know, and, and the Greens were the only party in this election, the only national candidate that was not controlled by corporate money, lobbyist money, uh, or a super PAC. We have a firewall against big money. We are a small donor um, phenomenon. That's the only way to do it. And actually, it should be publicly funded, and we're working on that. But in the meantime, it's, it's a small donor thing. And Bernie may be with the program, uh, but he cannot you know, somehow leave the, the party, unfortunately. He's the right guy in the wrong party. <laughs> and we had invited him to come on board and get behind a party. I saw that, yeah. You know, if you want to have a revolution, you can't just do it with a revolutionary campaign because a counter-revolutionary party will kill that campaign and then disappear it. Where is Bernie now, you know? Unfortunately, it's Nancy Pelosi and it's Chuck Schumer who are leading the party. And the party is, you know, we're still bombing seven countries and on our way to more. And it's still the war machine. It is still all about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, yeah. which was pushed by the Democrats. Uh, it is still about you know, health care, which is completely unaffordable, especially for working people. Um, you know, the gentrification of our communities and letting developers just run roughshod over our, our housing. Uh, student debt, which, again, the Democrats won't stand up. They bailed out Wall Street. Why not bail out the victims of Wall Street? It, counts, it costs far less than the bailout for Wall Street. We can fix this stuff, but it's not going to get fixed under a political party that is wedded to predatory banks, fossil fuel giants, and war profiteers. We're going over a cliff, folks. And I think we don't have time to keep reenacting the same failed strategy. It's like beyond the Hail Mary moment now. We got two feet over the cliff, you know, and we're hanging on by a thread here <laughs> now. Uh, we got to start doing what we need to do. Our lives now really depend on our taking action and taking very um, big action. This is not a time for little things around the margins. This is the time to really stand up for uh, uh, an America and a world that actually works for all of us, that puts people, planet, and peace over profit. This is not rocket science. This is basically the agenda of our campaign. It's a Green New Deal that fixes the uh, emergency of the climate at the same time that it fixes the emergency of our economy, which hasn't gotten better because the jobs that came back are part-time, low-wage, insecure, temporary jobs yeah. that you cannot, you know, keep a house, you know, or an apartment with, let alone, you know, support a family. Um, uh, we need a Green New Deal. We need uh, to end student debt and make public higher education free. Uh, we need to restore public education as well and not you know, not squander our resources on this privatized uh, charter system. Schooling is not about a choice. It should be a right. An excellent school should be a right for every student. We need health care as a human right. We need to um, end mass deportations and create a, a welcoming path to citizenship, uh, end mass incarceration and the war on drugs, and uh, end this uh, system of uh, racist violence and racist policing, and uh, finally have a foreign policy based on international law, human rights, and diplomacy, and get back half of our budget. You know, instead of spending it on wars that make us less secure, let's actually spend it on the things we need for security right here at home. 